In today's video, we are finally going to do a proper recording test of the Sony model DNW A25 Betacam SX VCR using the SDI input instead of the composite input for much better video quality. And we're going to be doing this test with the help of this. This is a Panasonic model AW-E800A 3 CCD video camera. I don't know when this is from. It could be the 90s or 2000s. One of those two decades would be my guess. They called this a convertible camera. So it's just a video camera meant for industrial use, not broadcast use, but you would use this in a lot of different industrial or commercial situations depending on what you need. I think they call it a convertible camera because it's got tripod threads literally everywhere on it. So really easy to adapt this to whatever situation you need. And the lens is also removable. It's got a standard bayonet lens mount so you could mount whatever type of lens on it you need. And by default this camera has a composite video output, but this one has an option card installed, which gives you an SDI output. Very nice. And it's got a couple other connectors here. And it takes this slightly non-standard barrel connector with a thicker pin so that normal barrel connectors don't work. So it's got this uh, pigtail that plugs into that, and on the other end is a male standard four pin power connector. So, I want to set this up, I want to connect the camera to the VCR through SDI, and I'm going to have the camera set up on a tripod, and this camera doesn't have a microphone on it, it doesn't have any provisions for sound, so we're going to have to set up a separate sound recording uh, setup, which I do have something to do that with too. And it's this, this is an Electro Voice model 635A, dynamic XLR microphone and uh, you saw this microphone in the uh, extra I posted called stupid microphone setup or something like that this is really cool I, I'm borrowing this from the station and when he gave it to me I just thought it was some old microphone but then I looked it up and the Electro Voice 635A is like one of the most famous microphones in the history of electrically recorded audio. Literally, um, Electro Voice is still around. They've been making this microphone for decades and they're still making it today. This is a very, very famous, uh, in particular, uh, interview microphone like you'd use in news gathering. So I think that's really, really cool. It's all metal, very heavy, and very solid feeling. You could probably kill a person with this. Uh, very solid piece of equipment. And although I haven't tested this particular one yet, I have looked, I looked at a video on YouTube where someone tested this, and it sounds incredible. This is an incredible sounding microphone. Um, they call it omnidirectional, but it's not omnidirectional, at least not by my standards of what an omnidirectional mic would be. Um, but yeah, you've got the male XLR jack on the bottom. And I was given with it this very long XLR cable, which uh, was broken. It had to be, uh, it had, one of the connectors had to be resoldered. So I did that and it's working now. So I'm borrowing the mic from the station, I'm borrowing the camera from the station. And with the help of these, connected up to the uh, Betacam VCR, we'll be able to get a really good quality video test of the Betacam VCR. Way better than I was able to get in the first video of this thing just using the composite input. And you may ask, well that gets you good quality video into the VCR, how do we get good quality video out of it? We can't use the composite out again, that would just defeat the entire purpose. Well I was very generously given this. This is a Canopus model ADVC 1000. This is a converter box that can take an SDI input and output it through Firewire as a DV stream, or the other way around, take a DV stream and output it through SDI. 
there are a couple of these at the station. I was generously given this one. And this is great because I can hook the SDI output of the Betacam VCR up to this box and connect my camcorder to the uh, DV output and just record the SDI output of this thing straight to DV into my camcorder, preserving all the quality. Because there's not even any analog to digital conversion required, it's digital all the way. So that is great. So technically, using that box, I don't need this stuff. I could just hook this camcorder up to this box through the DV input and output it through SDI into the Betacam VCR. But I wanted to go old school. I, I didn't want to use any DV. I wanted to go full SDI, full old school. So we got an SDI camera, an XLR mic, and uh, it should be pretty cool. So this camera's got a pretty neat lens on it. It's a Fuji lens. Fujinon TVZ, whatever that means. 10 millimeters to 120 millimeters, so it's 12x zoom lens. F1.7, so quite fast lens. And uh, it's got a power zoom on it. Oh, I guess there's the information right there. And this lens looks to be quite old. If I had to guess, it's probably from the 80s. And it's got some buttons and other electrical functions that we cannot use on this camera because the uh, connector for those functions, which is right here, we have nothing to connect that to the camera. So it's manual zoom, manual focus, everything. And very heavy. The lens alone weighs more than the camera actually weighs. And it's pretty cool. This is a broadcast grade lens. And I learned something that the station manager taught me that I didn't know about these types of lenses. You know how on a camera, if you go into manual focus mode, if you zoom in or out, you have to refocus? Well, the design of this lens eliminates that. This actually has two focus rings on it, one for wide angle and one for telephoto. So what you do is, once you have the camera set up pointed at the subject that you want to be shooting, you have this ring right here called macro and you focus in your subject. Then you zoom all the way in, that zoomed all the way out, then you zoom all the way in and you adjust this focus barrel and that's your telephoto focus and you focus it in again. And once you have both focus rings focused, no matter where you zoom, it keeps it in focus throughout the entire zoom range. That's really cool. But of course, if your subject moves, or if you move relative to the subject, you're going to start the process all over again. If you don't plan on zooming, if you just plan on being zoomed out the whole time, you don't need to touch this. And then you could just, you know, focus on the fly if you're moving around like you'd normally do with a camera. I think I forgot to mention the aperture is manual as well. There's no manual, there's no automatic exposure on this. You have your aperture ring there. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the rundown on the uh, lens. It's got a VTR button right here where a record start stop button would be. And this is the record stop start button. If you had this lens hooked up to a compatible camera, hooked into a compatible VCR, you could hit this button to start and stop the VCR recording. And the lens comes out if you move this up like that. It just comes off. And here's the camera alone. Unfortunately, the uh, lens there in front of the CCDs has fungus on it. And I don't know if it'd be possible to take that apart to fix that without destroying the CCD or th throwing the three CCDs out of alignment or what, I don't know. But you get a good picture out of this regardless. Maybe not 100%, but it works. So let me get things set up and then we'll start our recording test. Are we going? Hello, hello? Okay, I think we're recording. Oh, there's a bit of lag between. I, I've got the confidence recording on, and I guess there's a few seconds delay between what you say and, and when you actually see it played back to you on the tape. But we're now recording on the Sony DNW A25 Betacam SX VCR. 
through the Panasonic AWE800A 3CCD video camera and this very old Electrovoice 635A microphone. I figured I'd do this first before showing what the setup looks like so I can take a few seconds to exp explain this setup here. Um, so the camera is connected through the SDI in on the uh, VCR and this microphone's connected through the channel 1 input and I had the worst time figuring out I couldn't get the microphone to work. I'd yell into this microphone and you'd barely see the level meter come up even though everything looked set right. I didn't know what was up and uh, then I decided to do something that I thought was stupid. I moved the switch it's, it's got that little gain switch where you can set it between negative 60 dB, 0 dB, and plus 4 dB. I had it at plus 4 dB. Let's see if I could get more level out of it. So I did what I thought was something stupid. I moved it to 60, negative 60 dB, and that's, that was the issue. It fixed it. So apparently moving the switch to negative 60 boosts the audio, and moving it to plus 4 cuts it. So I guess it's not showing how much you boost or cut it by, but it's you just set it for whatever reference what you're plugging into is. And this is a microphone, which would be a very low audio output. Um, so you're supposed to set it to negative 60 to represent that. So glad it only took me half an hour to figure that out. But you can see we're working here. And if I zoom in, also, is our aperture okay? It certainly looks okay. There, I'm closing the aperture. And that's turned up all the way. And if I zoom in here, you can see, let me move out of the way. We'll zoom in on the green of the door here. You can see it's out of focus, but now I turn the telephoto focus ring. Oh, and the delay between when I see it on the monitor is not very helpful. There, something like that. And uh, actually, let me hold the, see if I can find where the camera's trained. There, there's the microphone. Let me uh, resume again. There. So now we're fully focused and I can zoom in or zoom out again. and we're still in focus. So that's a pretty cool setup. Um, let me... I'm trying to think. I'd like to be able to take the camera off the tripod and um, and use, actually use the camera itself to show the setup, but that I, without, because I'd be behind the monitor and wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing, I don't think it'd be very, uh, I don't think it'd work out very well. Although I wanted to get pictures of the happy wall anyway, so maybe I'll do that anyway. I'll just, uh, I gotta put the microphone somewhere, or try to hold it. Alright, we're freehanding the camera. This BNC cable's really short, so I actually can't go very far from the, from the, uh, VCR. I gotta turn confidence recording off. Give me a sec. All right, I've set the microphone down. We're freehanding the camera. Let's see if I can get the happy wall there. Let me see if I can, I'm moving away from the microphone, so forgive me, Ugh. this is not an ideal setup. Okay, so, 
That is the SDI input coming from the camera. That's the microphone input. And I had to use my uh, cigarette lighter cord for the camera. So I have the VCR itself. wired into this lead acid battery. Whew, glad that's over. Uh. So there you go, that's um, that's what it was like in the bad old days with your separate VCR and video camera and separate microphone, nothing integrated. The uh, VCR is making a hell of a noise being in Betacam SX mode. You could hopefully hear that. And uh, that's about it. That's um, that's the... Uh, finally recording on the Betacam VCR using an SDI input. So now I've got to get it out of the Betacam VCR and onto the computer. So that's where that Canopus SDI to DV converter box comes in. I'm going to hook the SDI output of the VCR to the SDI input of the Cannabis, can, cannabis the Cannabis box, the Canopus box, and then my camcorder, my mini DV camcorder, which obviously has a DV port on it, will connect to the DV output of the Canopus box so I can record it onto the DV cam tape and uh, and then onto the computer. So there you go. That's about it. Thanks for watching. And uh, now I can return all this crap to the station and maybe hopefully tidy up a little bit because the coffee table's been a freaking mess lately. And uh, I'll see you in a future video.